hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Bokis and you are in the right place today's tutorial will be on how to make this off shoulder elastic dress for a girl of four to five years depending on how slim or plump the girl is this is a sketch of what we want to make looking at it this is a normal dress it could be a flare dress or it could be an a-line dress just that you need to add some allowance to it because this upper part is going to be gathered then for the cape there are two ways to make this you can either have a circular cape or just a straight cape it will still give you the beautiful lovely cape shape so now we have two things to make first the dress and then the cape what are the measurements required for this you need the length of the dress so for me it will be between 23 to 24 inches because it is a short dress then you need the chest measurement of the girl for her it is 24 then the length of the cape which is five that is from this point to this point then the round the shoulder measurement that is if you are making a circular cape you need the round the shoulder measurements make sure it is the highest part you are taking the measurements not except you want it to be around the bicep area that total depends on you so the round the shoulder measurement for her is 28 inches and when i mean the length of the dress it means from the nape of the neck down to the hem of the dress and here i have two materials here now these are just leftover materials this is just very little as you can see what i have here and it's on fold and then i have satin which is a matching color to the african print so this can be used for the cape while this can be used for the main dress so now let's get started a fabric of my 32 inches is not even up to a yard so what i did was to fold over this way and then fold over this way you can see this so make sure everything reminds now first let us determine you need half of the ham hole measurement right now the first measurement we need here is half of the ham hole so for her half of the ham hole will be six inches and because the main dress is an half the shoulder so six is since it is six inches that means i will have to take away three inches of the dress but remember we are still going to attach the cape to the dress and we need to attach them all to the uh, with an elastic band so instead of taking away three inches i will have to add extra two inches for the elastic i will have to add extra one inch for the elastic so instead of taking away three inches i will now have to take away two inches because i need this extra one for the same allowance for the elastic since i'm using a small elastic band so right now what i'll just do is since i'm taking away two i'm just going to place these two inches at the head here and then check out the length so since i said i want the length of 23 or 24 so let me just make use of 24 because the material is just quite enough for that so 24 inches will be the m so my first line now will be the six inches here which is the half of the ham hole to make it to two inches all your measurement starts from two inches so that's the chest line so after doing that the next thing now is to insert the bust the sorry the chest circumference now remember i told you this chest circumference is 24 so when i divide that by three uh, sorry by four i'm going to have six inches so quarter of our chest measurement is six inches but now because this is going to have an elastic at the upper part you need to add some allowance to it to make it free so that by the time you gather it it still have a lot of volume so instead of these six now i'm going to add extra three inches to that which will make it nine inches and you see what i have now so i'm just going to mark that nine inches or had extra half inch for seam allowance so nine and a half so this is what i have now then whatever you have here since i have nine and a half here i'm going to come to the lower part here 
coming to the lower part i'm going to add extra two inches to two and a half to that nine and a half plus extra two inches so let's say one two so that will be eleven and a half eleven and a half i can just make it twelve connect it all now the dress is formed so coming over to the to the ham hole area now so all i'm going to do now is to just whatever you have here come up to measure it nine and a half measure nine and a half here so from this point i'm just going to come in by two inches from this line and half so two inches is here then I'll take my hand hole to cut it out can you see the way I place that so we are done with the dress so before I cut it out I will just come up here I'm here I'm just going to come up by three quarter inch to one inch then I'll use my e cuff to connect it straight down here. Or my hammer cuff to work better. So that is that. So if you want like a slight cuff on the neckline here, it depends on you. You can just make between half an inch or one inch here. So let me just make half an inch and then just make a slight curve here so i'm just going to use my pattern master on my hip curve to just curve it out now this is totally optional so as you can see that so that's what i have just a slight curve so now the last adjustment is this because it's on the shoulder just come down by half an inch here then just connect this straight so it's like gives some room for the try to move a ham easily so now let me just cut it out the middle here you can see that so the slight curve the ham hole and then just dress itself so by the time we gather it up it will form a slight curve so now let's go back to the cape step now is to cut out the cape and for me i'm going to be making a circular cape why because it's going to you know give it a nice fall fitting and all that rather than a long strip of fabric but if you don't have so much you can make use of a long strip of fabric so now the trick is this since the round the shoulder measurement is 28 you just divide it if you, are, if you want that's if you want a full circle you just divide it by 6.28 that is just a standard so you don't need to worry about that so 28 inches divided by 6.28 to eight which will give us about four points four five approximately four and a half inches so that would be the radius for the round the shoulder measurement now is four and a half that would be the exact one without elastic but because we are going to have an elastic to it so we need to make it wider so has to accommodate the elastic and make it form ruffles so instead of making use of this four and a half now i could be making use of six and a half to seven so that it will be wide because the wider the fuller it's going to be but this is the actual radius so what i'm going to do now is this here i have one yard of satin fabric here 
So what I'm just going to do is to fold this way. Can you see that? Then I'm going to fold over because we are cutting a full circle. So you don't need so much fabric to do that. Now I'm going to check. Since I said the actual radius is four and a half, so I can make either make it six and a half or seven. So let's just say seven inches. So I'm going to check. So that is seven. Then you need the length of the cape. The length of the cape is five inches. But remember, you need to add two inches to that length of the cape. Why? One inch will be for the elastic casing here, and one inch will be to hem the lower part. So instead of five inches now, I will make the length seven inches. So, so that means we have seven times two. So seven inches for the radius, and then extra seven inches for the length. So that's a total of 14. So I'm going to go here. So let me just measure that. 14. just going to keep rotating it before I insert the radius. Now that I have done this, the next thing is to insert the radius which is 7 inches. Initially it was 4.5 but because we want to make it wider, so seven inches, make sure it's at the edge. So the wider, the fuller. So if you make it six and a half, it will be less full. If you make it five, it will be less full. If I want it to be more than this, I can make it seven and a half, but this is just okay. You don't want it too full. It is wide. Let's check it out. Now this is the dress. This is the cape. You can see it's quite wide. So by the time we had the elastic to eat, we have some ruffles this way. So this is what we are going to have. So right now it is time to start sewing it up. It's time for us to sew up the dress now. But the first thing you do now is this. Before opening the piece up, adjust it well. And then we are going to notch the middle. This is it. So I'm going to notch this middle, which is going to match this previous notch we had. This is it. So it has to match this way. So those notches are to match. So let's set this aside. The first thing we are going to do now is this. Make sure the wrong side are facing each other. This is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. So make sure the wrong side are facing each other this way. Then the first thing is to take half an inch by the side because I left half an inch. So I'm going to sew in half an inch here, half an inch here. Then hem the lower parts. After hemming the lower part, then I'm going to hook on this um, armhole area up and finish it up with a bias strip for both handholds before we come to fix the cape. I've sewn the sides 
and then the ham hole area can you see that we eat bias tree can you see so the next thing i did is this remember we notched both the dress and then the cape so i just make sure i attach the cape to the, the notch area the both notches together here and here then i just run a basin stitch just to hold it down so this is what i have now hope you can see that it's very easy make sure the notch the notches matches the dress and one of the cape then also here the dress and the other side of the cape then just run a basin stitch that is all so this is what i have now so what am i going to do next there are two options you can get your elastic this is my elastic band so what you, you are, um, there are two options so you can either take it measure whatever measurement you want to take out cut it off let me just measure what i want to use out. what i want to use out is the bust uh, the chest measurement i don't know why i keep saying the bust measurement <laughs> so the chest measurement remember the round shoulder measurement is 28 why the bust um, the chest measurement is 24 so i'll be making use of 24. so by the time i take out the seam allowance and hold that it's just going to be a perfect size so this is 24. so this is what i'm going to use for the elastic so the first way i'm going to use is you can just close this hole so to have this so what do you do just open this up tag this down here tack it down here can you see that then after doing that then you can now fold in the one inch seam allowance we left so just quarter of an inch then half so you just keep pulling the elastic and then you keep going and you see that is another easy way to do this since this is secure this is secure so you just keep moving it around the elastic so you keep going that way or you just take one inch quarter inch then fold in one inch all through can you see that so i'm just going to sew it all through and then leave an opening like two inches opening then i can run the elastic in it this is the outfit we've just made you can see how beautiful it looks can you see that i'm just going to place it on the mannequin for you to see can you see the inside everything is just so neat and beautiful you can see the hammer area all neat i even made a small belt for her whereby she will tie up so i'm just going to place it on the mannequin for you to see then before we move forward i just want to tell you about the sewing tool we have them all available we have them in wooden and also in plastic and this is the one meter ruler we have the hip curl the pan curl the pattern master we have all these also in wooden can you see that then sorry in plastic we have the pattern master the same repair tracing wheel hammer core tailor's chalk pins thread cutter and also the pattern paper we have the pattern paper available in case you are interested and you see quite long and also we have the calico so you can see that so we have them all available so if you are interested, I'll put the contact number in the description box below. So right now, let me place this on the mannequin. This is the outfit. You can see how beautiful it looks. Ensure you make one for your girl and also for yourself. Now, if my tutorial has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Blakey Signatures, and on Facebook, Sewing Innovations. If you are interested in the sewing tools and our online classes every month, Please contact us through the contact number in the description box below and also in the comment section. I love you guys. Bye.